New tonight, a series of burglaries in an Norfolk neighborhood that have those who live there on edge. The same house has been targeted twice, and the homeowner got both of the break-ins on camera. Then your side's Michelle Wolf sat down with her. So, Michelle, these break-ins at her house happened the same week. They did, just in a matter of days, and those two break-ins are believed to be connected. The first time Tamara Villalobos Flores was asleep when she heard someone walking through her home. The second time the thieves came back, her teenage son was taking a nap. For years, Tamara Villalobos Flores saved up thousands of dollars for a complete remodel of her home. That dream now foiled by thieves twice in a matter of days. I awoke to somebody playing my son's guitar. I heard two voices speaking and I immediately knew these were not my contractors. Brand new windows broken in, a battered garage door and damaged couch. A storage pot ransacked along with tools, jewelry and her son's electronics stolen at 630 in the morning. His Xbox, his PlayStation, and then they had two gun safes that were missing out of the pod, a 45 Ruger competition service firearm. One of the burglars attempted to enter Vija Lobos Flores' bedroom. I said, if you enter, I'm going to shoot you. And the male voice yelled out, my bad, and they ran out of the house. Surveillance video captured by a neighbor shows a man in black sprinting out of the house through the front door. Investigators later tracked the thieves to a home on King Street where they recovered some of Villalobos Flores' stolen property. The police report describing a makeshift residence in the backyard of the King Street home that contained numerous items, appeared lived in, and the most bizarre, contained a military-grade rocket launcher. An explosive ordnance disposal specialist was called in, along with the Norfolk Bomb Squad, ATF, and the FBI. A suspect vehicle was also towed from the property. Five days later, around 10.30 at night, another break-in. He um, was arrested Thursday evening, released on bond Friday morning, and broke into my house Friday evening. This time with her son home alone. It's not just a feeling of being violated. The first time, I'm a military veteran. I am trained to protect myself. I am trained to use my firearm. I am trained to de-escalate a situation as best as I possibly can. On the second time, my son was in the house. There is no training that any person can do to prepare to try to figure out how to keep their son safe, any of their children safe. Lisa Lobos Flores was returning home that night when she noticed signs of forced entry. She watched as two people escaped from her home and called police. It's the most terrifying experience that I've ever had. The suspects left their truck behind, parked in front of her home. When police left the scene, they came back for the truck. Lisa Lobos Flores said she and her neighbors blocked them in and again called police, who eventually let the two suspects go due to lack of evidence. Even though Visa Lobos Flores says their truck was not registered and did not have the correct tags. Now I'm waiting to see if there's going to be a third break in. Now she's trying to pick up the pieces of a life she's worked so hard to build. Who's going to decorate my kid's bedroom when they stole the decorations for her bedroom? I just replaced my son's TV. That TV's gone. Jewelry, my grandmother's wedding rings. Who's going to replace any of that? Nobody. It's just left on the homeowner and you try to battle it out with in homeowner's insurance, but that doesn't add up to this broken garage. They stole anything that they could grab onto, memories. Visa Lobos Flores wants the thieves locked up for good. They're stealing futures, and that's what they don't understand. Now, Norfolk police say the break-ins in Estabrook are tied to a single group of people. They steal property and pawn items off for cash to buy drugs. If you see something unusual in your neighborhood or on your security cameras, call police. Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.